Hi guys and welcome to part 5 of ASP.NET MVC Core Tutorials. On part 4 we talked about the project structure and on this part we are going to learn how to configure an ASP.NET MVC application. As we have already mentioned on the previous part, to add a package to our application we need to go to project.json file and on the dependencies section we have the list of all the dependencies of our application. And here we are going to add some more dependencies. On dependencies list we have added three dependencies, razor.tools, static files and mvc. The razor.tools contains a .NET razor tooling command which is used to resolve the tag helper descriptions for project at design time. We are going to talk more about the razors on upcoming parts. The static files is used for ASP.NET Core static files middleware. This includes middleware for serving static files, directory browsing and default files. In our case we are going to use this dependency to serve the custom CSS and images to our views. The last one which is MVC dependency will be used to add MVC support to our application. On tools section you need to bring the razor dependency but without the type property. When we add the dependency on the tools section then we will be able to use them on the design time as well. For example, we have started our application and then we want to make changes to our views. So by adding the razor support on the tools section, we can make the changes on the UI and then by simply refreshing the browser we will see them. If we do not add the razor support on the tools section, then for every change we make on the UI we have to restart the Visual Studio. When we save the file, we will see that Visual Studio will download and install the packages and the reference to our application will be added as well. For this we go to the startup class which is used to initialize our configurations. This is just a simple class which does not derive from another class and does not have implemented any interface. It has two main methods, the configure services method and the configure method. The purpose of the configure services method is to configure dependency injection. And dependency injection in previous versions of .NET was optional. In ASP.NET Core it is integrated. So when an application starts up, types like a class are registered in the container. In dependency injection terms, these types are called services. Once they are registered, other types can ask the container for an instance of that type. During the registration, you can determine what the lifetime should be of that instance. For example, on the future parts, we will build our services and to call them from different controllers, we will have to register them inside this method. So let us make our first configuration by configuring MVC service. The configure method configures the HTTP request pipeline of ASP.NET. The pipeline specifies how the application should respond to HTTP requests. When the application will receive a request from the browser, the request will go through this pipeline that we will define and back. When there is nothing in the pipeline, nothing will happen. So you need to plug in all the stuff you need in the pipeline. The individual parts that make up the pipeline are called middleware. So before adding our pipeline, we are going to first delete what we added on the last part and then we are going to add these four methods. The use developer exception extension method is used to render the exception during the development mode. The use status called pages extension method is used to show the error pages for HTTP status codes. The third extension method which is use static files is used to add support to our application so we can use the static files like for example our custom CSS or images. And the last one defines a default road and supports attribute routing. Writing this line of code would be the same like writing three other lines of code where here we define a default road with a default controller home, default action index and an id parameter as optional. We are going to remove what we added for now and then we save the file. Thank you for watching and see you on the next part.